in my media organization, the Philippine Business Daily Mirror Publishing Inc., which publishes the number one business news source in the Philippines, the Business Mirror. I'm sorry I did not bring a copy with so. I believe I am not here to evaluate or even pass judgment on how my colleagues do their work. To print is my meeting. We have an online presence, but we do not focus much on it. I will get to that later. Three, I am not a journalism graduate. To me, this is pertinent because uh, my exposure uh, to communication theories is limited. I took up behavioral science in UP Manila. Lastly and more importantly, what I will share with you is not written in stone. I am here to provide an alternative insight, not to win you over or change your attitude about certain things like social media. Now that I have gotten that out of the way, I would like to introduce our newspaper, The Business Mirror, or BM. BM is literally the biggest newspaper in the country today. <laughs> our publisher, Mr. Anthony Babamo said, it was his idea to come up with a newspaper that is not similar to other in terms of size. It was a marketing strategy which has served us well because as far as the advertisers are concerned, BM has given them more bang for their buck. BM was founded in October 2005, at a time when Friendster and MySpace were all the rage. So, some of you here are smiling. <laughs> Not so young ones, O-N-C-E. The features of Friendster are almost the same as those in Facebook. You can share content, contacts, and talk about how your day went. What FB did not have that I enjoyed in Friendster is the Friends Testimonial section, simply because I like making fun of my friends. In short, alaska ko. The website of BM, the URL is businesspeter.com.ph, in case you'd like to check it out, came out years later. I cannot recall the exact year, but the company focused on print first. Now, BM also has Facebook and Twitter accounts. You might want to follow us. So, pakihalap kami sa Facebook as a Twitter. We regularly update our Facebook and Twitter accounts. But not all stories are shared for reasons that are not clear to me. Possibly, it's a way of uh, enticing people to go to our website. Also, most of our reporters do not tweet about their colleges. Let me uh, digress a bit. I am in charge of a cluster consisting of six reporters, and I have specifically instructed them not to tweet or say anything on Facebook about their colleges. I also discourage them from ranting against government officials and personalities on social media. As for the rationale behind this, I will get to that later. So essentially, we use Facebook and Twitter to enhance BM's brand and hopefully attract more readers. The rising cost of paper has made the migration to the internet an attractive proposition for my publisher. He is keen on going online all the way and to just pitch the print edition. He believes that chucking the print edition would result in a lot of cost savings for him, as he would no longer have to buy paper. We agree with him on this, and we have started talks among ourselves on how we could do Unfortunately, we could not yet come up with a formula that would allow us to earn and approximate what we get from our print edition if we go online. <clears throat> Currently, we have two revenue streams, advertisements and subscription. Yes, we have a website, but what we earn from it is minuscule compared to what we get from our print edition. And our publisher did not want to allow Google Ads on our website. So uh, we rely on the clicks, and that's too small. I think 0.001 cent per 1,000 clicks. We're toying with the idea of having a paywall, but we have yet to determine whether Filipino readers who have been used to getting information 
we used to get free information, we'd be willing to part with our cash for our stories. 